there has been a double standard on natural disaster aid for a long time from the right. Typically, the way it goes is you have a Republican politician who is against federal so called handouts when there are natural disasters, except when a natural disaster impacts their their personal constituents or their, their district or their home state, in which case they say it actually does make sense for the federal government to provide disaster relief benefits. And we have a new example of that from our good buddy Mark Wayne Mullen. Now, if you remember, Congressman Mark Wayne Mullen and James Lankford had voted against a fifty billion dollar aid package. They're from Oklahoma. They voted against a fifty million dollar aid package to provide disaster relief on the East Coast after Hurricane slash Superstorm Sandy came through and did tons of damage. We talked about that at the time, Lewis. We did. Yes, we did. So now we have video of. Uh, so since then, Mark Wayne Mullen has said, well, for the Oklahoma tornadoes, I'm in favor of federal disaster relief money. And of course, there appears to be some kind of inherent double standard there. He was asked to to uh, elaborate on this uh, uh, recently uh, uh, in terms of uh, why are you against one and for the other? Brace yourselves. Here is what Congressman Mark Wayne Mullen had to say about this. So I can't tell you exactly how I vote on it because I haven't seen it, but I can tell you what I'm going to refer back to self-responsibility. I'm okay with voting no on some of this stuff, but I'm also okay with knowing that I got to stand on my own deep two feet. <coughs> it's like my Sandy boat, you know, about the aid over there. And then the first thing that started happening is I got to start getting hit when more got hit. I bet now you wish you would have done this. No, because Oklahoma proved my point. We became the Oklahoma standard. We started taking care of ourselves. Neighbor taking care of neighbors. And that's what we have to do. That's right. Amen. <laughs> There it is, Lewis. That's the difference that Sandy survivors weren't showing self responsibility in the aftermath, but the Oklahoma survivors of the tornadoes were showing self responsibility. So they deserve the money from the government. This is uh, it's, number one. It's not true at all. OK, it's it, there are just as many Sandy survivors that were lending helping hands after Sandy as there were in Oklahoma, people helping others after the, the, the tornado. So at its face, it's completely bogus and false. But this we've had a lot of these lately, uh, the ad hoc rescue logical fallacy when you're when you're making an argument. Uh, government support is bad after it affects others. Well, we need government support in my state when it affects his constituents. Isn't that hypocrisy, Congressman Mullen? Isn't that some kind of a double standard? No, because unlike the Sandy survivors, the tornado survivors were showing self responsibility. Who believes this? You would have to be someone who is is uh, so unknowing of the political system and of the fact that that on both sides of the aisle, but particularly on the Republican side of the aisle, the double standards and hypocrisy and, and double speak is, is permanent. Uh, to, to believe this because it is such an obvious uh, uh, misdirection of facts. I would like to think that if his constituents heard him say this um, and understood the situation, that they'd be repulsed. But uh, I mean, how many of them are not aware that this is going on at all? And how many of them would just say, yeah, damn right, uh, we showed respons self responsibility and uh, well, screw those other people who are on the, the East Coast. Well, in defense of those who were actually affected by the tornadoes, you're probably busy enough trying to get your life back together and figure out how to replace the, the, you know, your home if it's been destroyed. Uh, people may have died, et cetera. So we're not really blaming those individuals for not noticing the hypocrisy. But more broadly speaking, Mark Wayne Mullen represents utter and total politician double standards. We've been covering them for years at this point, and people just need to know about it. I don't know how else to say it.